Hi everybody, this is a video of the Osram 20 watt fluorescent CFL stick bulb. As you can see, this is the Osram fluorescent stick bulb I got as well as the three incandescent light bulbs, the Wilco ones. And I thought I'd get this one as well as the Wilco incandescent uh, GLS light bulbs. So as you can see on it, and this is the stick bulb, and I thought I'd get this bulb because this bulb really caught my eye. And this has got 20 watts and that equals 100 watts. And as you can see on it, if, if the camera comes in focus, it says uh, Osram Deluxe L Long Life 20 watt slash 827. That's 827 Kelvin. And it's got 220 to 240 volts, uh, 165 RNA. I don't know if it says M or RN. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll just say it looks more like it says uh, RNA. So anyway, it's got 165 RNA. Uh, 50 slash 60 hertz made in Germany Osram and I thought to get this bulb this bulb didn't have the uh, Osram carton it had the GE one the General Electric one because I thought I'll get that bulb and it turned out it's this uh, Osram bulb and not the General Electric one but I'm, I'm glad it's an Osram one because I thought I'd get one of those Osram ones even though it's in a carton I saw the other one that didn't have a carton because this is like a second hand uh, fluorescent stick bulb and I thought I'd get this it's like a crocodile tongue with it three little prongs on it well fluorescent tubes on it and they're all in a circle and they're, and they're all attached to each other the three triplets so uh, and uh, it's got the etch on it CE and, and it has that cross it's no crossed out band but it's made in Germany and it's fitted with a stainless steel B22 bayonet cap so well anyway I'm going to put it into the socket now so Right, that's it now. It's fitted in nice and tightly. It's fitted in like so. So anyway, guys, I'm going to turn off the big lights now. Right, that's it now. The big lights have gone out. So onto the um, the fluorescent stick bulb, everybody. So ready, everybody? After three. One, two, three. Wow! As you can see, it came on with a bit of the cathodes and then the full lot just kicked in very quickly. It does start with the cathodes very quickly before the whole lot kicks in. So as you can see on it, it comes 20 watts warm, but it will... Well, it is turning at 20 watts dim, but it is getting a bit brighter. It's getting brighter, brighter, brighter and brighter. So, um... So as you can see, it's like a candlestick shape because it's got... It's like, like a crocodile tongue because it's like... Because it's got like sharp sticks on it. And it looks like a, it's like a cutlery, it's like a fork shape, shape like a fork with a round housing, plastic housing. The light from the, the tubes shine through the, the plastic housing on it. Yeah, and the, this is a good CFL, Osram. And uh, to tell you a little story about this, I know BHS, which stands for British Home Stores, but that's totally gone out of company. But when it was in company at one time, it used to be it used to sell fluorescent bulbs like these um, Osram ones. I think British Home Stores was thinks it likes Osram ones. I think Osram light bulbs were good to sell in uh, British home stores, which were called BHS and the initials. And I believe House of Fraser had light bulbs like them, them Osram ones. I don't mind Osram or um, Philips. I find Osram and Philips in the mix, which uh, somehow I do, because I find them more common. And, and I find, tend to find Sylvania's common as well. So, um, so as you can see, and as you can see now, it's going... 100 watts bright but i assume it looks like it has got 100 watts because it's because it's got 20 watts and it's and as it's got 20 watts that's equivalent to 100 so um let's take a look over above the the uh the bulb so as you can see um you can see the the tubes in the circle it's only got about three and it's where all the tubes where it starts with the cathodes it starts when my finger's pointy if i hold it fold a bit close where it's blackened that's where it's where it starts with the cathodes and that's why it's blackened because of the little cathode filaments they start to come in well it's actually the gas comes in before the whole lot kicks in straight away so um <clears throat> so uh, as you can see it's lit my breakfast tea table nice and bright let's look all around my room and everything guys and um and it shines very nice and bright it reminds me of one of those uh like i'm not sure like like long big teeth that's what those fluorescent bulbs remind me of and I know at one time when when they used to come in common back when I was a little boy, my mum never used to want to buy them because she says they cost a lot of money. So that's why she carried on buying incandescent light bulbs. So uh, coming into the very late nineties, the very first fluorescent bulb I got throughout my childhood uh, years, well, my childhood memories was is the Oz, the Mazda one, 
and um, that had the, that had tubes that, that were in a circle just like this Osram one. Yeah, so uh, so uh, just uh, another truth about it. Um, Morrison's used to sell Osram, well, not Mazda fluorescent bulbs that had that had tubes in a circle just like that, and they always start up with cathodes, which is called an electronic start up. Cycle. The ones I like, the fluorescent bulbs I like the most is the magnetic start up ones with like prismatic and comfort, and that's what I like. So um, it does shape look a bit like shape like a candlestick because it it is it has got eight hundred twenty seven Kelvin. That's that's like mega warm white. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm not sure if Osram ever did cool daylight ones, especially in that type of style. So uh, and as it and as you can see and. And it's it is like when you hold it far away, it's like like it looks quite twinkly. But when I hold it closer, it's shining very like very warm white. It's like very warmish white, like pink white. So um, and it's uh, like I said, it's lit my breakfast tea table nice and bright. And my mum said when she was a little boy, she didn't want to um, buy them because she's carried on buying incandescent ones because they were cheaper. But these bulbs, they're energy saving. If you ever touch this bulb, it only goes very warm. It does feel very warm when it's lit. They don't get red hot. And that's why this bulb is burning 20 degrees of heat. And it's gone 100 watts bright and 20 watts warm. So, uh, which you usually call degrees, it's burning 20 degrees of heat, which that's classed as low energy. And that is a low energy bulb and whatnot. So, um, so... Well, anyway, guys, so as you can see now, the fluorescent stick bulb is uh, fully brightened up at 100 watts bright and 20 watts warm and everything, guys. So, so as you're going to see now, the, I'm going to watch this bulb go out now. So, right, that's it now. The bulb's gone out. And as I turn it off, it just glowed a bit and then it just fully faded away. Well, anyway, back onto this big lamp now. So, right, that's it now, everybody. The big lamp's back on now, everybody. So... Well, anyway, guys, uh, this is a video of the Osram 20 watt fluorescent CFL stick bulb, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.